You do not have to look to the past. Assassin's Creed Mirage has brought back my passion for the series that I haven't felt in a while. Jump! He didn't have enough faith. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and today I'll be talking about how Assassin's Creed Mirage makes you actually feel like an assassin. I will also be discussing what the future of the Assassin's Creed games could hold. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. From the moment I began Assassin's Creed Mirage, I felt like the developers at Ubisoft Bordeaux understood the true identity of Assassin's Creed. The devs had love for the old Assassin's Creed games and Mirage was their love letter to those games and their way of paying homage to the roots of the series. In a way, this video is also my love letter to the series and convincing you to play the game. Where is it? <laughs> Alright, we're running away. I didn't think this through. I mentioned in my previous video that I hated Valhalla due to the game feeling empty and like a project meant to please everyone. Mirage does have a connection to Valhalla as a prequel, but it felt different. Based on what some of you said, Mirage may not be as good graphically or just met the bare minimum. However, think about this. How many games have come to your mind that haven't even reached the bare minimum? Regardless of criticism, this game gave me a sense of nostalgia that I haven't felt since Syndicate, maybe even since Black Flag. Perhaps others feel the same. As someone with Assassin's Creed as her favorite series since childhood, I could see Ubisoft applying the tenets of what it truly means to be a hidden one in Mirage. The first rule was staying your blade from the flesh of the innocent. You'll want to hurt NPC sometimes, but the game discourages you to. Oh, come on! Bassem strongly believed in staying the blade away from the innocent, not the order. When Nahal asked him to obtain information on the artifact from them, the second and third tenet was that you must hide in plain sight and never compromise the Brotherhood. This makes sense in Mirage considering bystanders panic and scream bloody murder when they see you attacking guards. <laughs> The game had moments where you had to protect people. You had to defend merchants at the bazaar from the Tahirids so that they could get their goods to the Dairat Al Mal auction safely. There was even a moment where you had to protect a character with connections to the order to achieve your goals. To not compromise the Brotherhood, Mirage encourages you to protect the innocent without causing chaos and scaring people nearby. You can best do that by making sure your assassinations are not seen. Although sometimes I have trouble applying that rule by randomly charging at guards or getting caught. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter! Leading me to rely on more discreet approaches. <laughs> Everything at your disposal, including assassins' focus, parkour, and stealth, you'll be able to come into the light and return to the darkness without any issues. And not in Batman's justice kind of way. You got poison knives, sleeping darts to put your enemies to sleep, trap mines to ambush them, smoke bombs to blind them, and noisemakers to distract them. You can also gather all the enemies in one place as you take them out with a chandelier. Where did you go? Ah, what, what was that? Go check it out. The game's chain assassination ability is also very satisfying, as you watch Basim eradicate five guards one at a time, while his body glitches like in the Animus. And let's do a chain attack! And you! And you! And you! And you! Mirage's story also enables you to take on a variety of disguises. A merchant at the Dairat Al Mal. Three! We have a third there! A test subject at the House of Wisdom. A bush? Come to the bushes, son. <laughs> and a eunuch at a harem. Don't ask why I'm there. My face is quite forgettable. Unlike your own. Even if you do get caught while infiltrating a restricted location, you can execute the guards in combat or start a revolution. Don't forget to disable the alarm so that they can't scream for help. While you're making the Templar's ancestors suffer, give a cat head pads while you're at it. According to Ubisoft's screenshot, we have petted 1.2 million cats in Baghdad. Hi there, kitty. Let me pet you. 
Okay, now I'm gonna rob this place. Or think for quieter ways out of dire situations within seconds. Because that's what a hidden one does. Hey, please! Nice. I also really liked the game, especially as I found Basim's story interesting before Valhalla. What made the story very fascinating was seeing the conflict he struggled with. He joins the Creed for the purpose of a life of free will, but he was unsure whether he was free. He tried to follow Roshan's philosophy as a hidden one by abandoning his past. Her name does mean the daughter of no one after all. However, he struggles with living that way as the Jenny continues to plague him in and out of his dreams. <laughs> Wait, what does it want this time? In addition to this, he learns from others that there is more to him beyond man, which I believe Roshan already knew about since Bastim's experience with the Isu artifact. It makes sense why she would agree to train him and dissuade him from finding answers. In the Caliphal Palace, Kabiha asks him to uncover his true nature underneath the temple in Alamu, but Roshan threatens him not to. You are not the first to walk the shadows broken, Basim. Stitch your shattered pieces into a hole. Pour your pain into the Brotherhood. Alamut has been invaded, but Basim tries to save whoever remains and enters the temple with good intentions to obtain the hidden knowledge and give the Brotherhood an edge in the endless war against the Order. Basim defeats Roshan with a similar move used against her at the beginning of the game and uncovers a shocking discovery beyond the temple doors. <laughs> Oh, we did it! <laughs> Nahal trapped in a strange looking machine. Nahal was not a real person, but a part of Basim he kept ignoring. Loki sighed. Although I do wonder how Basim never questioned that no one interacted with Nahal but him. If you played Valhalla, you would know Basim is a reincarnation of Loki. The Norse gods were Isu and preserved their consciousness to distribute to humans centuries later. Nahal then takes him through some of his memories where he's confronted by the Jinni. My theory is that it was a memory of him being imprisoned and tortured as Loki by Odin. Basim eventually freed himself from the torture and embraced Loki as a part of himself. Yes, I did say I hated Valhalla in my last video, but I did mention then that I liked the Asgard portion of the story. Roshan leaves the Hidden Ones as they no longer follow her philosophy. I'm okay with this, honestly, as I don't want to hear her voice anymore. She sounds like Roz from Monster Inc. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Basim encounters Enkidu, but Enkidu senses something has changed in him. A residing darkness. <laughs> There are still many questions to answer regarding his journey after Mirage and Valhalla. Who is this family he thinks he can bring back together? Basim's? Or Loki's? Who was the son he lost to a mentor and a friend? He addressed Rayhan as a mentor in Mirage, even if it's in a condescending kind of way. I hope Ubisoft Bordeaux will get another chance to develop another Assassin's Creed game like this. Or at least a DLC for the game that fills the gap between Mirage and Valhalla. Or another Assassin's Creed game that ties into the ideology of the Creed, the Isu, or the Animus. From what I've heard, Ubisoft Quebec is developing Assassin's Creed codename Red, which takes place in feudal Japan. Based on the leaks you'll play as a shinobi or a samurai who wields a one-handed sword and a hidden blade. My guess is that they'll combine the fantasy of being an assassin to history. I'm actually pretty excited for this game considering I loved Ghost of Tsushima, so I hope Ubisoft will go all out on this. Maybe they can take a direction with the story that places focus on dual protagonists. We'll have to see when the game is out. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content like this, and comment your opinion on Mirage below or other Assassin's Creed games. What do you hope to see in future Assassin's Creed games? Thank you for watching and that's all.